All right, welcome everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at universal pH indicator. We have a uh, rather large flask of it here. Well, not that big, maybe 100 milliliters. This is a universal pH indicator and it's uh, it's neutral phase, which is uh, green. It turns uh, darker red and orange and red for acids and uh, it turns uh, darker green then blue then purple for bases. So um, I have a smaller amount here in this test tube and I'll be demonstrating the color changing properties using an acid and a base. So and then uh, then we'll see uh, a reaction that actually changes pH as it proceeds and uh, That'll be fun. So first, we're going to take a look at this pH indicator in a test tube. If I bring my hand in, it'll focus frontward. Alright, now we have focus on this test tube here. I will first add one drop of the base. So yeah, yeah, see it went blue for a second there, but it didn't stay long. Now you can see the color changing properties. Now it's completely blue. One more drop. A darker blue. It's actually quite purple now. The color seems to be off on the camera. There, now it's really purple. Yes, it looks blue on the video, but it's quite purple actually. Yeah, now you can start to see it against the contrast of the sink. So, there you have that. Now we'll add uh, the acid back in, one drop to neutralize it. It'll probably go too far. Let's see. Oh, no. Blue. There we go. A nice yellowish orange. And now a deep orange. Well, well, you can't really tell from the camera, but there's a deep orange for you. So I'll just uh, set that aside. I'll refocus the camera on the background. And now we will see the reaction of sodium in water. Many of you internet bugs may be uh, familiar with the sodium reaction. This is sodium. See if I can get it to focus. There we go. This is a uh, this is a sodium metal under mineral oil. Now, metallic sodium is uh, quite different than what you'd find in table salt. This is uh, metallic sodium cannot contact the air without rusting. You can't really see too well. It actually is quite a shiny metal, but it quickly forms an oxide when on contact with the air. Now what we're going to do is uh, wait on removing that. I'm going to go ahead and add some universal pH indicator to our beaker, about 50 milliliters or so. Then we're going to remove a fairly small sample of sodium and we're going to dry it off. Get all the oil away from the sodium. So. 
We'll see if we can get a focus going in the front foreground. And now you can see our chunk of sodium right there. And we'll add it to the beaker. And reserve and observe the color change. As the sodium releases hydroxide ions into the solution and creates hydrogen gas. Very quickly the solution has turned dark purple. Very quickly. You can observe it as blue on the camera. You can see vapors coming up off the sodium metal. That would be hydrogen, hydrogen gas. So very quickly we have a deep purple solution. As the solution is now strongly basic. And the sodium has disappeared in a very spectacular way. So, there you have it. The reaction of sodium in water creating a base, creating hydrogen. And thank you for watching.